in terms of my background, so originally I was a personal trainer uh, as well as a fascial stretch therapist. And um, in that role, I was also in sales, uh, you know, building my own business, uh, doing my old cold calling and uh, doing sales at that point. Um, so in terms of my years of experience, uh, so generally I've had about five to six years of experience in sales. Uh, and then I had one year of remote high ticket closing uh, beforehand. Yeah, so I have done um, other high ticket programs as well. Um, and the difference that I've found with Adam Sarah's program, um, as opposed to the others that I've done prior was um, Adam Sarah's program really um, had me have a better understanding of how to connect uh, with the prospects, how to um, really dig out the, uh, the pain as well as the, uh, the problem and the implications of that pain. And to be able to use that information and tie it towards you know, what we have available and, and see how we can be of best of service, uh, but really you know, not being too forceful or, or not sounding too salesy or scriptful, right? So there's a lot of uh, room for, for your own growth in that matter, uh, but still following <clears throat> a system in place that, uh, that is uh, a solid system that has got me to farther places than I've been before. My thoughts on inverse closing. So um, I find it extremely powerful. Um, I find it, um, you know, efficient, very effective, um, and and not coming off so much as uh, a person that you know is is yearning or just trying to get as much money out of, out of a prospect, but more so from an empathetic, uh, understanding, compassionate um, perspective, but you know, still being able to you know, get that close at the end of the deal as well. So uh, it's a nice balance of being empathetic and really understanding where the person, uh, where the person is and where he needs to get to, um, really getting an understanding of their needs and then, you know, tying that in with, uh, with what's available and what the best service is out there. Uh, so, you know, it's, uh, it's very powerful. Um, and the reason why also is I find it powerful is, you know, just from the responses at the end of the calls and and realizing and having them, you know, talk themselves into uh, into knowing what is it they really need. Because a lot of people don't really, you know, have a better understanding of what they need until they really express it. And, and for you to be able to, you know, ask the right questions and really uh, evoke a response that is emotional and that's from within um, makes it a much easier transition to tie them into what is, uh, what's needed for them in that place. So, um, you know, in terms of percentages of sales have gone up, um, you know, uh, been closing more deals, uh, but as well as just um, understanding more of the human psyche, uh, which is very important. Yeah, so with um, with inverse closing, uh, what it's done to improve my sales was uh, to really, first off, get a, a solid picture of where they are, right? Getting an understanding of what the scenario is, what the problem is, you know, and how it's affecting them, uh, the implications behind and around that problem. Uh, and from there to really, um, you know, evoke that emotional response, but then tie it in with logic uh, at the end, really, you know, covers all bases for them to make a, you know, a substantial and a solid decision that generally can vary into your own favor, um, you know, done with the right execution. Uh, but with the right understanding as well. And that's what inverse closing has done comparing to the other programs where, you know, it's more focused on, um, you know, objection handling and just more so, you know, more of a push and a forceful approach uh, as opposed to, you know, being more of the assessor, right, was what you learn in the inverse closing aspect, right? Um, you know, being able to have authority in the call, um, you know, solid control, but being empathetic as well, so it's not as pushy. So, uh, you know, that alone has, you know, gained more trust from the prospects and, you know, has a better result for me overall. Yeah, so my thoughts on the training. Um, first off, uh, it's very unique. Uh, I found it extremely unique in the sense of, um, you know, how to ask the questions, right? And to be very, uh, thoughtful on, on what you say and how you say things um, and how it can, you know, evoke a response that can either be more emotional or more logical um, and understanding, you know, where their limit is, understanding how far you need to drill um, and, you know, having a, a system in place, but 
you know, giving it some, giving yourself room to innovate as well and really bring out your own personality. But within, you know, within um, his teachings as well is important. So it brings more of that authenticity and it doesn't sound so scripted. Uh, so that was one thing that I truly enjoyed. And I saw a dramatic difference um, in my close ratio. Um, and uh, also the, the aspect of the constant reviews of the calls. Um, you know, in the beginning, I... I'll be completely transparent. I wasn't a fan of, you know, hearing my voice over and over, but um, what I've learned is that, you know, the more you hear yourself and the more, you know, um, Adam and the team really are, you know, have, putting their due diligence towards, um, you know, making you better, you know, giving you that constructive criticism and, you know, adding those tweaks and those fine points to really help, you know, boost your morale, confidence, but also your sales um, was a huge, huge help for me um, in terms of, you know, how I approach sales, how I approach high ticket closing, but not just in that aspect, but just in life in general, right? Um, and uh, so with that, you know, it's it's made a world of a difference for me. Um, you know, I'm able to, you know, travel the world. You know, I live in Mexico now, um, you know, be able to make my, you know, work my job, um, be a closer, but also enjoy life as well, too. So it's it's been great. Yeah, so um, high ticket closing has changed a lot for me, has changed things a lot for me, sorry. Um, so, you know, before um, I was living in Toronto, um, you know, my business uh, was, was cut short um, because of COVID, because of the lockdowns. You know, being a personal trainer, I, I went through my, uh, my share of, you know, ups and downs. And then when I got into high ticket closing, um, you know, I was able to, you know, be anywhere around the world uh, and still, you know, make a living, uh, a solid living uh, that was, you know, double or if not triple as much as what I would make in the corporate world, um, you know, working in corporate gyms. Um, you know, I have the freedom to, as I was saying earlier, you know, living in Mexico, being able to, you know, travel to Europe, uh, being able to travel to parts of Africa and, and still, you know, still make a solid income, still make an impact. Um, and you know have that sense of freedom which for me was worth more than you know all the money in the world so um and, and be able to open up new experiences for myself but also uh you know change the way i communicate with people uh and my relationships uh made a huge difference in that aspect just from the training right and from uh, being more understanding having more of an active listening um, side of things than than just you know being forceful or being too persuasive, so um, it's made you know huge changes in my own life. Uh, absolutely, uh, I believe uh, you know people should take a solid interest and in, uh, and be very serious about the academy um, because you know it it'll help open your eyes in terms of you know the freedom aspect, uh, being able to work remotely, you know being anywhere in the world. I'm having that, uh, but also being able to um, you know develop your active listening skills right being able to be more empathetic understand the human mind um, the psyche behind you know why they say certain things um, and also you know be able to develop your own sense of confidence um, and you know be able to believe in your skill and know that it will take you from point a to point b you know with adam's teachings um, and, and with what he says so uh, i believe you know the academy has, you know, helped me uh, in so many different ways in terms of, you know, just as I said earlier, being confident um, and and having more of a active listening skill um, to be able to understand people more effectively, be able to be of service, create that impact, and of course, you know, um, as a bonus, the finances come along as well. So. Um, it really helps, you know, create that discipline as well too. be able to be in control of your emotions, but also be in control of, of the calls um, and, you know, uh, ask the right questions and, and really be thoughtful in, in how you speak, but also how you listen as well. So, um, you know, if, if that's something that you'd always want to improve and learn on and develop that sense of freedom, but also, you know, make a, a solid income, then, you know, the, the academy is something I would uh, very seriously, uh, uh, you know, open my eyes and ears for. Absolutely.